Lots of great stuff coming up on this episode. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe below the video. Tonight, we're sampling two beers from Fossil. Their first one for the Feast of St. Arnold. A triple. And then we also have the Colorado Strong Pale Ale, also from Fossil. Next on... I shouldn't have done the point, huh? We gotta do you it. always do. All right, you we point. Can, we can do it again if you want. Okay. No, you point. Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay. This week we uh, to um, try out a couple things. Uh, Feast of Saint Arnold beer, which is, this is, which is a Belgian triple. This is what they're going to be entering in the Feast of Saint Arnold competition. Uh, last week, if you remember, we tried the. Um, oh, we didn't try one last week. No, no, no. Feast of Saint Arnold. No. Just the Colorado Strong. Just the Colorado Strong. Uh, but we did do one earlier, which was a Groot from Nano 108. Mm -hmm. So here's their. So this is our entry. second Feast of Saint Arnold beer. Second Feast of Saint Arnold beer. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as soon as I, I, I was paying all the breweries to see what they had, and they said, "Yeah, we have a triple." And I, like twist my arm. There you yeah, go. yeah. I was like, "Yeah, it's it's on the other side of town," but I was happy to drive over there and pick it up. Yeah, definitely get that Belgian character from it. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous, as you probably saw from the pouring portion of the video. It's just it, beautiful yeah. and golden and clear. Yeah, it has a Belgian aroma for sure. Kind of sweet, sweet malt. Nice dry finish. Yeah, sweet aroma, sweet flavor. Yeah, that's good. That's really nice. Just a little bit of heat. So this is 9.5%, which is obviously not anything to sneeze at, beer-wise. I wouldn't want to finish that by myself. Well, actually, I'd be okay finishing it by myself. You didn't have to go anywhere. I wouldn't, have to do that. I wouldn't be able to drive anywhere and not get up early the next day. I don't know what else to say about it. It is, that's delicious. I mean, it's got that Belgian character all the way through. Dry finish, you get the hot bitterness at the end, just as it's drying off. Just a little, yeah, but it's dry. Yeah, just a little bit, and yet it's still sweet. You still have this, at least I do. So yeah, well yeah. done. Yeah, yeah this is, that's delicious. Yeah. And it's trilobite triple. Trilobite triple, yeah. I don't know if this is a, I guess if this is about what they're going to be entering in the Feast of St. Arnold. They pointed me to this, but for some reason, I was thinking that this might, maybe not a flagship, but this is something they might have on a regular basis. It'd be I wise. I, it'd get my vote. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's if I drop in, I'd definitely grab a pint of that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yep. No, it's yeah. definitely good. Yeah, uh, Jesse was saying he did some uh, kind of pings on the breweries asking, because we had a list of who's doing beers for the Feast of St. Arnold, and uh, it, we haven't heard back from Storybook, have you? Oh, I did. Um, oh, you did? I did hear back from them. They have two, as a matter of fact. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, they have, ooh, uh, one that sounded particularly intriguing was... Uh, Gosh, I can't remember. It was an ice, ice something. Oh, I saw their, uh, no, it wasn't a Gruet. It was like a mead. Maybe. I'll look it up. Yeah, I and saw we'll, that on Facebook. Yeah, yeah but I, I meant to talk to you about that, and I was like, that sounds super intriguing. And what's the me. second one? Um, something not as intriguing to me. Hmm. I'll have to look that up, too. We'll, we can, we'll look it up, and we'll Well, it's like we'll Pokemon. Back, you got to catch them all. Yeah, yeah, no kidding for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll try to swing by there, see if they're available. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, but and yeah. then Smiling Toad is what two weeks out? Smiling Toad's about yeah. He said two or three weeks out. Um, he didn't offer the type of beer. He just said that it was, and I and I didn't know it was going to be grilled, so I'm not prepared. But uh, yeah, he said that it was brewed with. Um, I can't remember the spices. He said that they were going to be using. Um, so yeah, Smiling Toad. They're a couple weeks away. A fossil, which are some of the other ones I can't remember. Um, did Nano. Oh, did you get Black Forest? Black Forest. Um, I'm going to swing by there this weekend, probably. Okay, yeah. And then uh, I don't I don't know if it's their Feast of St. Arnold beer, but Gold Camp has a single. Oh. Um, so yeah. I'll probably grab that or okay. something, yeah. Yeah, I'd be, happy. I'd be interested to try it for sure. Yeah. I'm yeah. not sure if it's their entry or not, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sweet. So yeah, go out and buy some triple for sure. Yeah. And no, if you get your Feast of St. Arnold Cards, go ahead and, you know, make sure you get your stamps everywhere. I thought I might still have mine in my pocket. I don't think I do. He's emptying, like, detritus. Paper Look at that. detritus. There you go. What's that? That's your sticker? That's my sticker from, from uh, Fossil. Oh, nice. Tiny little sticker because I didn't have my my uh, my card, card with me. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, she cut it out for me. She was very nice. Hmm. Well, very good. Yep. Clean, Belgian-y, dry, sweet. 
Buy it. Buy it. Hoppy. Gorgeous. <laughs> So here we are with another Colorado Strong from Fossil, of course. Trademarks. Yeah. Trademark. That's, that's yeah. Trademark. Colorado Is it Strong. Trademarked. trademarked. <laughs> All rights reserved. <laughs> um, yeah, so Jesse, when he ran by Fossil, he grabbed uh, Colorado Strong. This example is weighing in at 5.6%. And unfortunately, I don't have any information. I didn't, I forgot to ask about it when I was there. And I meant to ask about it on Facebook as far as what hops and yeah, I, I forgot. Totally, totally uh, dropped the ball on that. So hmm. we'll just uh, see what we think. It is really clear. clear. Yeah, yeah it's like I got like a. Well, let's hear what you smell from it. Getting that like floral pine. Oh really? I got like grapefruit. Yeah. 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 So it's I mean, it's probably like, the sea hops again. Yeah, getting like a floral with piney notes. Mm, that's quite tasty though. Wow, really mild hops. So they're really mild, but they carry a lot of flavor with them. They do. Yeah, because like, like you said, you know, you're getting piney, I'm getting kind of citrus. Yeah. I'm getting a little herbal. Oh, no, you didn't say piney, you said uh, Flor kind of floral. floral yeah. yeah. And I can kind of pick that up a little later on in the taste. Yeah. I can definitely see where you would say grapefruit too, but this is just more, just from thinking more floral. But yeah, they're, that's really good. I really like that. I'm not a big, very, I'm not a very big proponent of super hoppy IPAs, and this is not super hoppy. I, I would say it's barely bitter. I mean, yeah. as far as balance goes, it's barely on the bitter side yeah. of the fence. I mean, it's got all the hop. I'd even say mild hop aroma and flavor compared to a lot of pillows, but it's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. I get that, like a, I think I get that floral or herbal character at the very end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit more pronounced there. Well, again, um, Colorado Strong's going to benefit a bunch of people. Uh, we didn't realize it last time, but we put a note down there saying it was actually uh, healthcare workers, first responders, and I mean, just a whole host of people. Yeah. Yeah, I'll throw the URL down there again in case you want to check it out. Um, but this is our second example of it. So, and it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. This is it's definitely different from um, Deuces. Yeah. Um, it, not yeah. terribly different. It's pretty different. It's it's noticeably. I'm I glad mean, to have tried them both. For yeah, sure, yeah. Because it is definitely different. I'll be curious to try another one. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I think you can definitely tell. At least, well, I guess my pal's not quite that sophisticated, but. Knowing what I know about these, it doesn't surprise me that it might be the same grain bill, just different hops. Yeah, yeah, you yeah know, so. absolutely. Well, I mean, it's obviously pretty light. You know, it's light bodied. You know, not a lot of color from yeah. the grain, and yeah. So, yeah, that's really interesting that they all use their different hops, and and I mean, makes them stand out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, and I don't know if we mentioned it last time, but when I was thinking about it, is that I think it's a, a brilliant idea. Is rather than everybody brewing the same exact thing. Everybody do something a little bit different because, hey, I want to try this one. I want to go over here and I want to try yeah. deuces and I want to try fossil and I want to try black forest. And then you're just contributing that much more to the, the charity. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, it's a good good marketing ploy yeah. if you want to look at it that way. Yeah. So, summarize uh, if you like pale ales, get it. Yeah. Uh, if pale ales are too bitter or hoppy for you, I'd still get it. I think it'd be right yeah. in your ballpark. Yep. I, yeah. I can't disagree with that. Yeah. Excellent. So uh, for this episode, Jesse ran by and got Colorado Strong from Fossil, as well as their St. Arnold's beer, uh, a triple, trilobite triple, Trilobit triple yeah. and uh, they were both delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're awesome. They're five stars. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah, so if you get a chance, run out and get it. Uh, we mentioned, you know, we've in a previous episode, we went into a lot more detail about the Colorado Strong. Um, actually, I'm thinking in the last segment, I said I put the URL down there. Yeah. 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 So, but so yeah. So you saw the URL. What more do you want? <laughs> right. We can only talk about this so much. So uh, yeah, I at think least, that's it. Well, at least until next week. Yeah, until next week. So, because the plan is, we're gonna go buy Black Forest. I think next week. Meat pies. 
Meat, oh, yeah, oh meat wait, wait, wait. Meat Pie Monday. Meat we've Pie been Monday. discussing this off camera with Meat Pie Monday. But uh, they are also doing a Feast of St. Arnold beer, which is a Goza. And then they're also doing, uh, participating in the Colorado Strong. So, very similar I'm, setup I'm next week, I think. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'll try to hit Storybook uh, probably in a week. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Grab their they, beers. They're doing an Ice Braggot, was the one that we we're trying to remember. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Ice Braggot and the other one I slipped. Oh, Belgian Dark Strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, because yep. you had me at Belgian. Yeah. Belgian. Bel Belgian. 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 <laughs> hey, a Belgian strong alley. <laughs> Belgian triple. That's pronounced triple. You're okay with Belgian, <laughs> but you're correcting <laughs> me on triple. <laughs> so, yeah, so I think that wraps up for this episode. I think so. Yeah. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers. One more thing. This is like... <laughs> I think if I do that... <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're going to do that, then I have to start. So, can I, I could start. Okay, and I'll say... And then, <laughs> you'll just hey, Nate. Nate, can you see me in the shot? Yes. You can see my head? Yes. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Um, so hang on. Let me... So how, what were you going to say to start it? Uh, you're going to say uh, lots of great stuff coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> lots of great stuff coming up in this episode. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe. Just click the buttons down below. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to keep a straight face and I fucked it up. <laughs> you want to do it again? Yeah. <coughs> it is, in fact, recording, right? Okay. Yeah. Lots of great stuff coming up on this episode. But first, don't forget to like and subscribe right below the video. This time, we're getting two great beers from Fossil. One for the Feast of St. Arnold. And one for Colorado Strong Benefit Beer. Next on. Yeah, I messed that up, didn't I? We should do that again. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I forgot how we started. Uh, lots of great. Oh stuff. yeah, yeah. Thanks. Line, line. <laughs> <laughs> Four score. <laughs> la 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 la. Okay. Fun, blah, blah, blah. On another exciting issue of Colorado Talk Radio, Jesse looks at his phone <laughs> <laughs> while well, mumbling to himself. My phone's recording the video, so it doesn't really. Yeah, I'd be doing the same thing. Uh, yep. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our website at coloradobrewtalk.com for more great content. While you're there, be sure to leave us a comment or drop us a line with your thoughts. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at CO Brew Talk, or follow the links below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. Or episodes, as the case may be. <laughs>